Right now on the CBS 2 News at 6, a vigil for a nine-year-old girl killed in a mass shooting in Chicago over the weekend. CBS 2's Jermon Terry is live in the back of the Yards neighborhood at a growing memorial for Ariana Molina. Jermon. Erica, we are minutes away from this community and the little girl's family coming together to pause and reflect on the senseless murder, not to mention the crime that is plaguing this back of the yards community. Now, over my shoulder, you can see that people have balloons and the crowd continues to gather here at 52nd and Damon. Chicago police say at least 18 shots were fired over the weekend. One bullet hit Ariana Molina in, the, in her head. The nine-year-old was outside her house with family members when everyone took cover. When the bullets stopped, Ariana was dead, and 10 others, including her mother, were bleeding on the ground, all shot. Chicago police say this was a gang-related shooting, yet Ariana's father definitely tells CBS2 he and his family have no ties to gang. Now, as the community wraps its arms around the child's family, her uncle says it will help as this entire family comes to terms, not just with Ariana's loss, but the multiple family members who are hurt, too. This is violence that has been increasing in the, the past year here in Chicago, and it needs to stop already. Unfortunately, a lot of what we're seeing now um, is the lack of disinvestment that continues to happen on the southwest and the east sides of Chicago. And we don't want to repeat those cycles, so we have to do something about it, and enough is enough. And again, back live here in the back of the yard uh, community, this growing vigil is about to start momentarily. We see many uh, community activists, the aldermen, also Ariana's family here. Uh, we will have the very latest on everything that took place out here tonight, beginning on the CBS 2 News at 10. For now, reporting live in the back of the yard's neighborhood, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Erica? All right, Jermont, thank you.